<laughs> this rogue, again, another good example. He's got a 24, a couple of 23s, 22s, but Academy is still quite not quite there yet for him. And I'm sure he has tried plenty of times. It's just so hard to time this place, man. It really is. So we're going to take a Rogue and an Evoca. Let's see what we can do here. Academy. Share. So what's going to happen is... I'm going to pull everything here. Normally on Fortified Wigs I prefer to kill these uh, flies first. Just because... They can actually one-shot people sometimes. Fortified and bolstering, 100%. So you need to kill these flies first. Because it's tyrannical, I'm gonna pull everything. I just need my party to do literally zero DPS at the start. Just while I get them together. Just asking my party on the party shot to do zero DPS at the start. While I get them together. And then we can, as soon as they are all on me, we can bloodlust and just pump. Here we are. So, next on the menu, people, we got Academy 22. Super tight to time this place. Let's see what we can do. Twisted just did... On a 18, was very close on timer then. Oh, I know, bro. This place, it really needs two or three minutes. Added to it. Two, one. Right, let's see what we can do here. And, and Twisted, by the way, I don't know if your tank pulled like a maniac. But I will pull like crazy, bro. And the timer is still going to be super short. You'll see. Even with my kind of pulling, <laughs> especially towards the end, I think I'm pulling more than most roots, and it's still quite hard. So here, I literally just walk. Everyone should just AFK. Just like this. They're on me, they're fine. I see the patrol is up there. That's the position you want the patrol to be at the start. Now I start work working on my aggro, I pop step. a cooldown for safety, AoE taunt, and AoE dots. I can see the Vimananta gave me a stun, sweet. I'll follow with my own stun as well. My computer is dying right now. Watch your step. My computer is like, what the hell are you doing, doing to me, bro? Step. Trying to fight for the aggro here. I think I'm there now. Using all my cooldowns right now. Watch your for safety. I should have them ready again for the bot anyway. No need to save them.
Watch your step. Bit of bolstering now, but we are okay. The healer did amazing to keep us alive. Watch your step. I'm trying to walk in a line, guys. Not sure if you noticed, but instead of doing circles, Watch your step. circles normally can kill your party quite easily, especially the, the melee will die. Try to do a straight Watch line as much as you can. And always avoid going too close to the boss. Otherwise, you can aggro the uh, patrol. We don't need ex extra flies step. at this point. We got enough. I'm just saying to my party, I'm gonna pull the boss to the skull there. We're gonna go left. Back on the tank, please. And also, what you guys should always say to your team, guys, especially if you are the tank, ask them to use stuns or fear or whatever when they wake up. When the little seeds wake up, it's so hard, man, to fight for the aggro. Because the uh, most DPS classes are already ramping up. They already are like at their peak of DPS. So fighting for the aggro when they have all buffs ready, and they are already doing a lot of damage anyway, it's mission impossible, man. So, so hard. If everyone stuns and fears when they wake up, their chances of staying alive go up a lot, as you can imagine. If you see no stuns, no fears, nothing, you will see someone dying just because they get aggro. It's almost impossible to get the aggro. Normally on the first one, on here, what I like to do, I use my AoE towns. Just for the first one. The second one, my team needs to use stuns or die. That's simply how it works. Now I have my AoE town on cooldown. If they don't give me a few stuns, they will die. Watch your step. Brigade. Kick on the Eula, bringing him right to the middle of all the uh, enemies. <laughs> Nearly dead now. DPS seems okay. We are killing everything in good time. Just. In good time, but just. Just the exact time we need, actually. Now, I use my stun. Look, the Demon Hunter is not giving me... I give Rallying Cry as well. To try to keep my party alive. But look. He's not giving me any CC, man. I use my fear as well to keep him alive. But I don't think he gave me any stuns. Which made my life as a tank super hard there. And the healer as well. I'm sure the healer was spamming heal on the, on the Demon Hunter. Watch your step. Big ad. Get the uh, Ila right in the middle here with us Defensive. after the kick. My AoE town is coming back in 10 seconds, so the next one I should be okay without stuns. Watch your step. But the uh, the Ila <laughs> is dying just, just before. Stack high. Just before the next ads come. So our DPS is just exactly right for what we need. Normally you want to have a bit more leeway. Watch your step. What is that? Mission one accomplished. Onwards. Why can I not? Hmm, I cannot mount up. Now I can mount up. Let's go, let's go! Blood loss in 5 minutes should be fine for the bird boss. We still have a bit of trash to do. This is why it's so important to do bloodlust on the first pool there, on the, on the tree boss. 
and not on the actual boss, even on Tyrannical. To make sure the Bloodlust is ready for the bird, which is a lot more important than the tree boss. The tree boss was very, very hard at the start of Dragonflight. The tree boss was one of the hardest, if not the hardest boss in the whole game. But he got so many nerfs, now it's easy. Now it's one of the easiest ones. It's just fun. It's just fun to play the tree boss because you need loads of DPS, so you just see crazy numbers like 200k DPS, like we have now. Look at the overall of my team. Nearly 300,000 uh, DPS on two players. That's crazy, man. Big numbers there. Just fun. What? Ahoy, Zufuria! How's it going, brother? Nice to see you, Zufuria! Zufuria! I was saying earlier, bro, I was talking about you. Your ears must have been burning, bro. I was saying that you were missing a stream that you must love to watch, bro. Just get your popcorn, Zufuria. You're gonna see... Plenty and plenty of wipes and carnage, Sufuria. I know you like a bit of carnage, bro. I got some carnage for you. <laughs> Sufuria is happy with uh, what we've got on the menu here today for him. Right now, guys, I learned this from Laura, actually. Laura was pulling these birds while they are still flying. And look, they come down to you perfectly stacked. So it's actually better to intercept them, to start doing DPS when they are still in the air, still flying, than to let them land randomly. For the tank, it's a lot easier. And this trick I learned from Laura not long ago. This week. Because she did it on her Warlock, and I was so confused. I was like, why are the birds not, you know, normally there's a little swirly on the floor. Where are they going to land? And I didn't see that. And I was like, are my, is it my graphics? Do I need to change my graphics settings? <laughs> but it wasn't. It was actually because she was attacking them before they landed. It's a, it's a really good trick. I'm going to do it again. Because normally, they come perfectly. Hey, we taunt. Look, they're all stacked on me. It's so nice, man. Normally, as a tank, it's, it's, this can be hard because they are everywhere. It's hard to get the aggro. This is a fantastic trick. I might need a cooldown, a defensive cooldown here to stay alive. They are bolstered times four. Sure. I think the healer is spamming heal on me as well at the same time. Sure. Hopefully I'll be okay. The Furia! I did two keys today. I have enough to push. Okay. Did you push a bit today then? PvP. Oh! You had enough! So you give up, bro. PvP is better. People doing 25k DPS overall and die on a boss 3-4 times. <laughs> I know, bro. I had that. Zufuria, the previous key, before this academy key, I went as your vault. 22. And I had a Hila, Resto Druid Hila, on almost 3000 score, bro. 3000 score. And that guy died on the first boss. For no reason. Can you can you believe that? At the start of the first boss, he couldn't stay alive. He got a bit of AoE damage that everybody got. And he had a bit of uh, aggro from the uh, the small adds. But that, that's normal. I cannot go everywhere in one second, you know? I got them all in like two seconds. Because I had my AoE taunt. So he got a little bit of AoE damage, uh, I think two hits from the adds, and he died. Defensive. So we deplete the key, bro. 3000 score, man. Maybe it was just, just unlucky, you never know. You can be a bit unlucky sometimes, but... Spread. The key is gone. <laughs> Defensive. How can you die on the first boss? I know, bro. Normally, it's easy. As a healer, if you start pre-healing, it's very important. As a healer, there are some fights where it's very important that you know when to pre-heal. You just start adding heal over time on your team. You place, like as a druid, you place the green circle on the floor before the damage. Not when the damage happened. That's too late. 
and he, he didn't do that. Like nobody had ill. The druid didn't have ill on him. The green circle was not on the floor. So that was it. Defensive. But you see that a lot, bro. You see that so many times. Most uh, most healers, even if they uh, they they look like they have good experience. Sometimes they uh, they don't know where to where they need to be proactive rather than reactive. That's the big difference. Phase change. But never mind, we are playing the next skin now, Zufuria. Academy 22, so far is okay. Good DPS, man. Very good DPS. Spread. The overall DPS at the moment, we got two players on Defensive. almost 200,000. And the Rogue on 130,000. Still good. So let's see what we can do here. Defensive. Shockwave. Spread. I think we want to do Defensive. the wind. I think the wind, we will do it on three AOE from the boss. How are we doing it now? It's not even three, it's only two. Okay. Ah! I have no space, bros! Luckily, I'm still alive. But that was tight. Boss on 15%. Man, with the wind, it's so hard to find space, man. Spread. I think this is the second AoE. Ooh, the next one I think will kill us. Defensive. I think we activate the wind too fast. And now the boss Shockwave. might kill us. It's 5% on the boss. Can we kill the boss before the next AoE? Defensive. I need to use all my cooldowns now. We are still alive. Nice. The boss should die now. Very nice, guys. We got, I got the miners. Who can I give it to? You. Good. Let's go, guys. So far, so good. Zufuria, every other boss in that dungeon, I can understand. But on first, I know, bro. Normally, you never see people depleting a key on the first boss of Azure Vault. <laughs> the second boss, yes. Second boss can be very, very hard. To heal. To heal is very hard to heal. On the second boss, you get so much damage on the party during the phase where you have four extra enemies. During that phase, that boss, whoo, super hard to stay alive, bro. You need bloodlust or you die on a high key. I'm telling my team, the range should go on my mark. Sure. That guy didn't go on my mark, he's making this pull harder. All the rain should hide on the green. So he doesn't jump. You see that? He doesn't jump. He stay on me. This is what I want. Man, I just saved my team. I was the only one kicking a spell that kills everyone. My team is a little bit asleep. They need to wake up. Shockwave. This guy has six stack of bolstering, so if my healer was not hiding behind the bridge, it would be a one shot, man. Unless he's a, a cool a defensive cooldown to stay alive. Look, this this attack. You just stay here. This is the best way to do it. Ahoy! Demon is raw! How's it going, brother? It's been a long time. Hope you're well, brother. Hope life has been good lately, brother. Happy Sunday to you, bro. 
I'm feeling the pain today, Demon is Ra. Today I'm feeling the pain. It's starting, look, I already lost someone. Trying to push some big keys, bro. Not easy at all. Not easy at all. We are just resting quickly. I'm gonna start doing the pool. Oh, he's not hiding. This guy, look, he almost died. With with zero bolstering on that guy, my boomy almost died because he doesn't know to hide. He doesn't know how to hide on this on these packs. I don't know. It's so easy, man, to just stay near the bridge. Or there. The healer is doing it there. Anywhere you want to do it, it's fine. Shockwave. Right, we have a, a big bolstering guy. And all the small ones are dead. I want to pull the next one. Because they have uh, the same life. This guy has like 3.5 million. And that guy has 4 million. So it's about the same life. It's good to pull these two guys. Same life. So they can die at the same time. Shockwave. Actually, my team is focused in the big guy. So they didn't die at the same time. But they could easily. They are all 50% HP. I will wait. I will wait to kill them. Rather than two two times bolster on the next pack. We have all cooldowns now. So we should do two packs, really. I should go crazy and do two packs, but... Woo! It's gonna be a bad idea. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go crazy, team. Because we have all cooldowns, that's the only reason why I'm doing this. I could see my druid was trying to save his cooldowns because I was not pulling enough. Don't worry, brother. I gotcha. I'm gonna pull enough for you. So you can use your cooldowns. Now we need priority damage. We need to attack the highest DP HP enemies or I can die. Or people can get one shot. Four stacks of bolstering is too much. People can get one shot. I'm gonna use my fear. Oh, I need to run away from this guy. The broom, if I stay too close to the broom, she puts a dot on me. A damage over time ability, which can kill me if, if uh, it has too many stacks. So I need to kite to be safe. That is one of the reasons why it's so important to track the uh, offensive cooldowns of your team at the tank. I could see we had enough pump, so I went for two packs there, which is super hard to do. Those two packs can easily kill everyone, especially with bolstering. Ooh, the healer is dead. I think this guy is too close to the boss. I think if the boss spawns, he's gonna aggro. I think. Okay, let's go, team. The timer is good, man. 11 minutes on this boss. We just use Bloodlust now. It's perfectly fine. I'm gonna let the boss take one sphere, not two, only one. So his abilities are not synchronized. I want the boss abilities to be uh, not cast at the same time. That's why you, you should let the boss get one sphere. Normally at the start of the fight, doesn't matter when. Watch your step. Defensive. Oh boy! Took so much damage that. Still alive, though. Let's go, guys. 
I need to reset my stacks. I got three stacks. Now I got zero again. Nice. I'm going to take two balls. I should be okay to take them. Maybe I'm going to take three. Because nobody else is doing it. Get the boss back to the middle here. It's a lot of damage, man, on this boss. I'm not sure if we can do it. I think now someone is going to die. I think. Ooh, everyone alive still? Man, this healer was very good. Healer was very, very good now. Defensive. Nearly killed my party there. Because I was trying to get one sphere. Maybe I shouldn't. I should just stay in my place for safety. People are taking the spheres. I'm gonna take this one. Defensive. Come on, guys. Boss on 30% now. Come on, can we do this? Watch your step. I got three stacks. I'm going to clean the stacks with my racial ability. I think I was going to get too much damage there. Better to be safe. Let's try to get this one here. I got shield wall ready. Woo, so much damage, man. I'm going to have to use my shield wall now and my trinket now. Stay alive. Boss nearly dead. And so is my team. Evoker doing a fantastic job there. Come on, boss. Almost dead. Come on. So close. Let's go. Now we do Shroud. I'm saying to my team, big pull next. And I'm asking to stun the casters. I'm gonna ask my team to stay here. I'm gonna use a little inv invisibility potion just to help me with this pack, with this pull. Otherwise, I might die. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to stun, stun, and run for my life, guys. I'm going to run for my life here. Pull those guys as well. Shield wall is up. And now, all that my party needs to do is stay below the spinning. Look, I'm below the spinning, so I'm taking zero damage here. I am taking zero damage. Now I'm going to do it lower, a little bit lower. Did Blizzard fix this? Because I, I, it looks like I'm taking too much damage. I wonder if this was fixed. I don't think it should have been fixed. If it was fixed, I didn't hear about it. Four. Annoyingly. It's the casters. I think you're right, bro. It's too much damage from the casters, though. What the hell, man? My team needs to do more. CC. We are still okay. Using all my cooldowns. Can we make this pool work? What a giga pool, eh? Done, guys. Come on. Mega Giga Pool. Let's go. Now here, guys, I need to go around the corner here, out of the of their uh, their uh, their visual. I need to wait for my team to go boss room. 
They are not going, man. They are not going boss room and it's annoying me. They need to hide. Boss is coming together with his pool. Let's go. The casters need to die though. Or kick. That, that caster should be kicked, man. Nobody's kicking that caster. The most important is the casters here. They need to be, be kicked. Come on, guys. We can time this key. Run. If we just focus on the casters. Breath. breath. Zero deaths. Nice. Normally, people die on the breath. Spread. Come on. We got four minutes, guys. Come on. Can we do this? Run. Welcome back, Laura, by the way. Nice to have you back, Laura. Sorry, I'm not paying much attention to the chat right now because I'm going ballistic. Super, super focused here. The key is nearly timed and it's such an important key as well, man. I really want to time it. It's so hard to time this place. Run. We only have two deaths, guys. Look at that. We have two deaths only. We have an average of 130 kdps, which is really good. And the key is still tight. And I've been pulling like crazy. As you've seen, that's how hard it is to time this place, guys. Absolutely insane. Run. Where are we dropping stuff? We're dropping stuff near the boss. Do I need to move? Maybe I should move for safety. A little bit further away from that spell. Breath incoming. I'm just gonna go around the room. I want my party to drop stuff close to each other. The worst thing on this boss is when people right. drop stuff randomly everywhere. Then I have no safe spot to go with the boss. If we start there, we should just drop everything near each other. So it's easier to avoid. Look, that, that rogue is playing amazing. The rogue is playing really good. Where he dropped it is perfect. Now I'm going to go around the room, slowly. The other one is there, where, where we came from. Look, my team is playing amazing, guys. The other one is there, where we are coming from. That's what we need to do. You should place the stuff from where we are coming from, because we are going to go the other way. We are, we are going to keep ourselves safe. Breath incoming. No, we lost one player. Come on, guys. We still have three battle rests, so we should be okay. But come on. Let's not throw the key now. Come on, 25%, man. I'm going to use my rally cry right now. I'm using my rally cry. And I'm going to bring the boss maybe here. I think here is a bit safer. So I'm going to force my team to move to me, but I really think it's worth it. Away from all that bad stuff. Now we just drop one here. Annoyingly, we drop one where I wanted to be safe. That's not great. Run. I think we are still okay here, as far as I can see. My demon hunter nearly died. Breath incoming. Let me go this way now, because I know this one will despawn soon. This one here was one of the first ones, so I know if I come here, it's probably a safe spot here, because this one should despawn soon. How soon? I don't know. Ideally, I want it gone now, right. today. Boom, shakalaka, 50 seconds left. That feels super good, man. 10 more points, let's go. Road to 3k rating, here we go, guys. Feels super good. GG, guys, GG. Man, it's crazy how hard it is. <laughs> big applause, big applause. Thank you, Twisted. Man. Guys, how, how hard 
is it to time academy, bros? I played like a perfect route, I would say. I don't think I can pull more because of bolstering. I went crazy at the end. And we still have like 50 seconds left with only three deaths as well. How crazy is that? 